guys, Olive here. Today I'm here to bring you my nonfiction November 2016 TBR, give you some recommendations, as well as announce a giveaway. If you happen to miss Gemma's announcement video or my announcement videos, I will link those down below for you. But to summarize, Gemma and I, for the second time in 2016, are hosting the nonfiction November reading challenge. This is a challenge intended to encourage both the booktube community and just the larger bookish internet community to read more nonfiction during the month of November. We have encouraged people to just read more nonfiction than they normally would. But if you're really looking for a challenge, we have introduced four different categories for you to choose nonfiction from. Those four different challenges are as follows. New, controversial, important, and fascinating. So I obviously am participating in the challenge element of Nonfiction November. I'm going to give you each book that I'm planning to read for each category, and then I'm going to give you two different recommendations for each category. One of the recommendations will be a book that I've read and really enjoyed, and the second book will be a book from my TBR that I think would really fit the challenge well. I am actually picking two different books from every category to try to read during the month of November. I normally read more than four books a month, and I would like to set the challenge for myself to read eight nonfiction books during the month of November. I'm not sure if I'll get there, but I'm certainly going to try. So for challenge number one, new, the two books that I am planning on reading are Buffering by Hannah Hart. This is a brand new book that Hannah Hart just released this month. It is a memoir, but is separated into essays. So not only is this book brand new, but the format of the book is new to me as I don't normally read books of essays or memoirs, so it's kind of new territory for me. The second book I'm going to be picking up for the new challenge is The Gates of Europe by Serhii Ploki. This is a book on the history of Ukraine. I don't know as much as I would like to about Ukraine, so this is by and large, a new subject for me. Also, this is a fairly new book, having been released just last year, and Steve Donahue sent this to me at the beginning of this year. So I believe it falls under the challenge rather nicely. So now onto my recommendations. The first book I recommend for the new challenge is As If by Jen Chaney. This is an oral history on the making of the movie Clueless. I would consider this a new book since it was just published last year. Also, the fact that it is told as an oral history is very unique. I've never seen another book with that kind of a structure. This is a ton of fun to read. I think it would make a great choice for Nonfiction November. When it comes to a book off of my TBR that I'd like to recommend for Nonfiction November, I would like to recommend The Attention Merchants, The Epic Scramble to Get Inside Our Heads by Tim Wu. This is a book all about the advertising industry, the entertainment industries, desperate attempt to keep our attention. As you may know, there is a fairly new phenomenon inspired by the internet of data collection from individuals, from their browsing habits to their personal interests that advertisers and entertainers use to try to get inside people's heads. Obviously, this is a very interesting subject matter. It is a new book that was just released on October 4th. I also think it would fit very well into the important category because I do think it's important for us as consumers to know what advertisers are trying to do to get inside our heads. Next onto the controversial challenge. The first book I'm planning on picking up is I Don't, A Contrarian History of Marriage by Susan Squire. Though I am married, I am always very interested in perceptions of marriage and marriage throughout history. This is a book all about the history of the institution of marriage, what it has meant over time, how it has shifted to what it currently means. I think people sometimes forget that marriage didn't always mean a loving relationship between two people who wanted to spend their lives together. It has meant very different things at different periods in history. Obviously a very controversial subject matter, and I am so excited to dive in. And the second book I want to read is a shorter book, and it is controversial for both its subject matter and its cover. It's called You Don't Have to Like Me. Essays on Growing Up, Speaking Out, and Finding Feminism by Alida Nugent. Obviously, feminism is a very hot button topic right now. I think this was written by a younger girl who writes for some more popular websites, so I think the tone of it is going to be very engaging and very fun. Also, the title pretty much sums up my life philosophy. 
My personal recommendation for the controversial challenge would be Sex at Dawn, The Prehistoric Origins of Modern Sexuality by Christopher Ryan. Obviously this title is bound to raise a few eyebrows and its subject matter is bound to as well, seeing as its thesis is that monogamy may not be an inherent human predisposition. I found it very engaging, very thought provoking. I think it would be great for this challenge. My recommendation from off of my TBR will be, what the F? What swearing reveals about our language, our brains, and ourselves, written by Benjamin K. Bergen. This could also fall under the new category as it was just published in September of 2016. I think the title is pretty self-explanatory. This is a book that discusses the phenomenon of swearing, why we do it, why we like to do it, what it says about us. I think pretty much everyone has a different opinion on swearing and whether or not we should do it. I am personally for it because I lived in Philadelphia for a while and my husband is from New Jersey. Certainly an interesting one about a controversial issue and the title is just fabulous. For challenge number three, these are the two books I plan on reading. The first book I'll be reading is called The End of Alchemy, Money, Banking, and the Future of the Global Economy by Mervyn King. This was on my Young Professional TBR. This is one of the books that I think is important for me to read because I am in the finance field. Mervyn King is the former governor of the Bank of England. He has a lot of insights into the global economy as it stands now. As the subtitle says, this book talks about money banking, and I also believe that he discusses how the world got caught up in the global economic crisis beginning in 2008. And the second book I'm reading for the important challenge of nonfiction November is called A Continent for the Taking, The Tragedy and Hope of Africa by Howard W. French. This is a book about the more modern history of the continent of Africa, the political situation, relations with the West, the remnants of colonialization, the military situation, the ongoing health problems, I consider myself woefully uninformed about the continent of Africa. I would very much like to fix that. I think it is important to know to be an educated citizen of the world. And so I will be learning about it in this book. For the important challenge, I personally recommend The Beauty Myth by Naomi Wolf. This is a feminist text that I think is extremely important for everyone to read. And my recommendation off of my TDR would be Voices from Chernobyl, The Oral History of a Nuclear Disaster by Svetlana Alekseevich. This is about the nuclear disaster that happened in Chernobyl, Ukraine in 1986. I know a good deal about Chernobyl. I am hoping to learn more when I do eventually pick this book up. It is one of those events that I think is important for everyone to have a knowledge of. And then on to the last category, which is fascinating. The first book I'll be picking up is The Keys of Egypt, The Obsession to Decipher Egyptian Hieroglyphs by Leslie and Roy Adkins. I am absolutely fascinated by ancient Egypt, so I'm really looking forward to this book. And then of course, you can't have one of my nonfiction videos without a book about Russia. I'll also be reading Overkill, Sex and Violence in Contemporary Russian Popular Culture by Elliot Borenstein. My personal recommendation for this category would be The Soul of an Octopus, A Surprising Exploration into the Wonder of Consciousness by Cy Montgomery. I read this book earlier this year. It is absolutely sublime. I loved every minute of it. It talks about the science of the octopus and also what it means to be conscious, what it means to be aware, what it means to be connected to other living creatures. It is so meaningful and I can't recommend it enough. And the book I'd recommend off of my TBR is called The Island of Lost Maps, A True Story of Cartographic Crime. This was written by Miles Harvey. This is the true story of an antiques dealer and how he went about stealing valuable and centuries old maps from some of the most prominent research institutes in the United States and Canada. I don't know about you, but that sounds fascinating to me. If you're having a hard time picking what it is you want to read during Nonfiction November, I have two playlists linked in the description box below for you. One of them contains all the videos I could find from Nonfiction November 2015, all of last year's content. And there is a second playlist of nonfiction recommendation videos that I found from around Booktube. So feel free to check those out if you're looking for some ideas. And now I'd like to take a moment to talk about the giveaway. There will be two winners of this giveaway. Each winner will receive one book from the book depository that Gemma and I have selected based on that person's preference in nonfiction. 
So if you were chosen as a winner at the end of the month, Gemma and I will talk to you about your personal interests and we will select a nonfiction book that we think you will absolutely love. In order to enter this giveaway, you need to, of course, be over 13 or have your parents' permission. You need to feel comfortable giving us your address. You will receive a book from the Book Depository. So in order to enter this giveaway, we want to see your TBR for Nonfiction November. You can put it in the comment section of this video, the comment section of my announcement video, either one of Gemma's videos. You can put it on Twitter, Instagram, any social media platform. Just make sure you're tagging it, hashtag Nonfiction November 2016 so we can find it. And then in addition to your TBR, you need to let us know that you would like to enter the giveaway. At the end of November, we will pick, as I said, two different winners and we will contact those winners privately. So even if you're not entering the giveaway, I would still love to see your TBR. You can of course put it on our Goodreads group, the link to which is down in the description box below, or you can put it in the comment section or contact me anywhere on social media all of the links to my social media profiles are in the description box below as well. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.